Hey bookworms, welcome to my reading vlog for The Night Circus by Arian Morgenstern. I know that this is a pretty popular book but I'm just now hopping on the hype train and as you can see my copy is a mass market paperback and I know that a lot of you can relate when I say that mass market paperback is such a struggle to read and this book has 506 pages so it's pretty intimidating for me but let's see how it goes and I hope that you like this reading vlog It's a Sunday night and this a vlog is supposed to be a weekend reading vlog. I started it on Friday but I don't think I'll be ending it on Sunday night or tonight since I'm planning to pull up an all-nighter. Uh, I won't be sleeping so that my sleeping schedule or my body clock will uh, go back to normal for the weekdays because if you don't know yet I work night shifts so tomorrow is another working day for me or working night <laughs> so I need to stay up all night so that tomorrow morning I will be able to sleep and what my plan is for the rest of the night is I will be finishing hopefully finishing the night circus by Erin Morgan Stern um, I'm already halfway through it as per Goodreads um, I updated my page count I'm already on page I'm about to start page 238 um, and so far, I am really loving this book. It's really atmospheric. I love the writing style. It gets me very hooked into it once I start reading it. I love how slow burn it is and the mystery is always there. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish this. And also, I haven't talked yet about how I'm struggling or how I'm supposed to be struggling because this is a mass market paperback and it's a struggle for me to read mass market paperbacks because they are so tiny but this one I am not having any problem or any struggle reading it which is a surprise so this book is really something and yeah I'm just gonna read this and I have my coffee here, my second cup of coffee for today. It's iced because it's really hot today here. I don't know why it's really hot today. It's actually supposed to be like the rainy season here in the Philippines, but due to global warming, I guess we're not getting enough rain. Too much for 2020. Um, anyway, I've been talking for three minutes now, which is something new for this uh, new kind of vlog that I'm trying. Which, by the way, I hope you're enjoying uh, just the voiceover kind of thing. I haven't done the voiceovers yet. I will be doing that uh, once I edit the footages that I have. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> start reading this one so i just want to talk really briefly about why i think i am totally loving this book it's um it's because it's effortlessly impressive and that's what i really love the most about it i think and yeah, unlike other fantasy books, I don't think that it's trying really hard. It's not a try-hard book, okay? 
I'm really impressed with the writing style of the author. Hello bookworms! I just want to quickly wrap up this reading vlog for the for the night circus and um I finished this a couple of days ago but I'm just wrapping it up now um, so overall I give this book five out of five stars it's really magical and it's nothing like I've read before um, it's my first time reading a book about a circus and I really love how slow burn the story is and how we got to see the perspectives of all the other characters and not just the two main characters and I also really like how it ended it um, sort of ended in um, like unexpected way um, yeah <laughs> What else am I going to say? Um, because of this, I really um, became more interested in reading other carnival themed novels like Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angeles. And I'm still not sure if I want to read Carnival by I don't even know who the author is, Stephanie something. <laughs> So yeah, that is all for this reading vlog of the Night Circus. I hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next vlog, which is going to be hopefully my 24-hour reading vlog. Bye-bye and stay safe everyone.